Hi! This is Intexa, and we live in an interesting world, one that likes to keep some mysteries. Who built the pyramids? Who built the Stone Age? Where does the Talzam come from? And what really happens at the Bermuda Triangle? These are just some examples, but they all have one thing in common. They give wings to our, to our imagination. imagination. Even though a lot of rational theories exist explaining these mysteries, some of us still prefer the stories about aliens, the supernatural, and time travel. Mostly because just like in a magic trick, sometimes it's better just to fantasize. Nonetheless, I'm a curious person, and today I want you to join me on a journey to a very interesting country. Portugal, the land of Cristiano Ronaldo, father, and the pastéis de Belém, the land that looks like a drunk guy being on Spain. And most of all, the land that is NOT THE PROVINCE OF SPAIN! More specifically, I want you to follow me to the Bon Jesus in the city of Braga. Mostly known for its beauty and religious congregations, this sanctuary also holds a little mystery, one that will make you believe you found a glitch in the Matrix. Bon Jesus Magic Road. Do you think this road is an uphill slope? Think again. This road is categorized as a gravity hill, and a gravity hill is a place where the road appears to be an uphill slope, but is actually a slightly downhill slope, provoking a seemingly anti-gravity behavior to everything rolling in it, because the objects seem to roll uphill. Gravity hills are most of the time connected to supernatural stories, or explanations involving magnetic forces, but the true explanation comes from the force of perspective. First of all, let us test the slope of this hill. This is a level laser, and basically is a laser in a pendulum, and gives you a zero degree line. If you disturb the laser, it will get off balance, but then return to the equilibrium. As you can see there's no doubt this is in fact a downhill road. We can also check it with a normal level, or by the difference in altitude. Gravity hills are sometimes compared to an optical illusion created by a doctor in 1934. The Ames Rule, a dogma defying deception that due to dimensional duality, drastically distorts the delicate diagnosis of this division. In this optical illusion, you look through a hole into the inside of an apparently cubic shaped room. Things only get weird when something moves inside the room and appears to change size. This illusion is accomplished through a clever manipulation of the geometry of the room. If we start with a normal cubic shaped room and pull the left corner further, we can easily see it's now distorted, because in our 2D perspective, the corner appears to have shrunken. So to fool anyone watching, we must make this corner larger by changing the slope of the ceiling and the floor. But first let's get rid of anything that gives away clues about the true shape of the room. By gradually changing the slope of the ceiling and the floor, we can see how the room strangely appears to be straightening itself out. But in reality, we are being fooled. Just adding the baseboards again shows us that the left corner is still further away from us. Another example of this is the impossible motion ramp. This ramp seems to be going up, right? But it's not. Just another illusion that works by tilting the axis of the ramp further away from us. The Bon Jesus Magic Road is a combination of forced perspective and two-dimensional distortion. In most gravity hills, the area surrounding it is isolated by trees or buildings that obstruct the horizon, what hides important points of reference that give us clues to our actual position in space. The fact that right next to this hill is another one with a greater slope emphasizes the illusion. Another important aspect that contributes to the illusion is the shift to the left of the gravity hill in relation to the road standing next to it just like in the impossible motion ramp. Altogether, these contributions make a flawless illusion that makes us wonder if we can trust our brain. This will be everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any idea for more videos like this, please comment in the section below. If you really like the video, please subscribe. And if you don't want to wait for the next video, just check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.